I think one of the, really, one of the most fun things about Dark Shadows is that we went back in time. And going back in time, of course, meant that we were wearing costumes from the 1790s, from the 1820s, and uh, there we were in, in bustles and, and uh, long dresses and ermine capes and, and these fancy hairdos and everything. I, I can't think of anything more exciting for a young actor. You, you never think that when you're studying restoration comedy or doing um, Elizabethan drama that you're going to go on television um, and play a role where where you're expected to wear these these wonderful you know sort of gilded costumes and that's what we did it was really a lot of fun you know i ended up playing four characters on dark shadows i played maggie evans the waitress in in the present time and then when i went back in time i played josette dupre and uh that was in the 1790s i believe and then there was the governess rachel drummond and and that was in the 1800s and, uh, and then I played Lady Kitty Hampshire. And all four of these characters, they were very different, but they all were versions of um, the, the same core person. In other words, I was always the ingenue, it seemed, but I, but I was facing different kinds of jeopardy. And I think that most of the time, of course, I was being harassed by Angelique. Um, I seem always to be playing opposite Laura Parker in, in some version of my character. And um, uh, the roles, though, were, you know, slightly different, each one. For example, Lady Kitty Hampshire was a little bit more sophisticated. Rachel Drummond, of course, was a, a governess, a, a school marm. And um, Maggie Evans was sort of a fast-talking waitress in the present time. And um, uh, all of them, though, were essentially the same kind of character. You know, I was always the good girl on the show. I was always the fiancé of the vampire. I was always, oh, let's say the victim role. But, you know, it never, it never occurred to me until sometime later, you know, how much fun it would have been to play somebody that was the, uh, the meanie, you know, the, the villainous role. And I remember Laura Parker always talking about how she wanted to play the good girl until somebody pointed out that, you know, the, the, um, the heavy, the heavy character was always more fun. I love playing Maggie Evans. I love playing um, Rachel Drummond and, and Lady Kitty Hampshire. I, I don't think I ever really mm, lusted after, you know, one of the, the tougher characters. One of the other really fun things about doing the show, and remember, I was on the very first day. I was in the original cast of Dark Shadows. Um, I suppose I thought that I would always be playing the Maggie Evans role. And then the really fun thing happened uh, when I ended up playing another character, and it came about by accident, the Josette Dupre role. Uh, it happened because I showed up at the studio one day, and and they were the the producer and the wardrobe woman um, were clothing this this clothes horse, this dummy, and and I said, w w "What's this all about?" And they said, "Oh, well, this is this is the ghost of Josette Dupre, who uh, was the fiance of of the vampire of, of of Barnabas Collins, and they put wind machines on her, and and they did everything to animate this clothes dummy, and." I thought it still looked like a clothes dummy, and I offered to step in for the clothes dummy. And so they put all of this on me, the, the hair, the, the lace costume, the, um, you know, the, the, the makeup that made me look like I had jumped off Widow's Hill. And, um, and when Dan Curtis saw that, uh, it occurred to him that, that maybe I should play the role of Josette. So I was the first one who actually played a, a, another character. And I remember everybody telling Dan that this wouldn't work, that the audience would be confused. And he said, no, they'll go along with it. So there I was, Maggie Evans in the present time, playing a parallel character in the 1790s, going back in time and, and playing Josette. And it was absolutely wonderful. And then we started doing that with all of the actors. And as new actors came on in a, in a particular character, like Quentin Collins with David Selby, you would, you would know that in a few months, he would be playing a character like Quentin Collins, but only in a different time period. It kept the show very fresh for all of us. And it was really exciting to have this opportunity to develop several different characters over the run of the show. You know, when we, when we picked up a, sh a schedule and, and uh, we saw that we weren't going to be on for a while, and, and then in the script it looked like we were going to be killed off, I don't think anybody really worried about it too much, because you always had the, 
the thought that you would be brought back as another character. But in, in some instances, we did have actors leaving, like Marie Wallace. Everybody loved her. Uh, but Marie Wallace left the show. Joel Crothers left the show, both of them to do other soaps. Um, I know Chris Bruneau was on for a while, and then he left. And, and uh, a lot of people that we really loved but they moved on to other shows and, and uh, we didn't see them again. And it was, it was sort of sad. But then other wonderful new actors would come on board as well. It's so funny at the Dark Shadows festivals when, when you've got a fan that will ask you a question about something that happened, a, a, a plot point that happened, especially during that Leviathan period. None of the actors knew what was going on. I mean, we would, we would act the script moment to moment and never have any understanding of what all of that parallel time and 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 uh, all of those strange plot lines. Even the writers sometimes got confused. There's the the famous story, not at all apocryphal, but about a writers' meeting, and they couldn't remember something. And Dan said, "We'll go down and ask one of the fans." And so the writers went downstairs, opened the door to the the street level, and asked one of the fans a, a question about the show, and and they had the answer. But the rest of us were often very confused about what was going on. One of our favorite characters on the show was, was uh, well, actors, was Dennis Patrick. And he was on early on in the show. And he was wonderful with Joan. And I know she really enjoyed him. And he was gone for quite a while. And then he came back. And we were absolutely thrilled. And Joan Bennett used to love the limericks that he would tell at the rehearsals. And he was a, a much beloved actor.